Once, a king impressed by fame of a saint sent him lots of valuable gifts and with an invite to his palace. But saint didn't accept that invitation. King tried again and this time he himself went to saint and said, Master, please give me an opportunity to welcome you in my palace. Please accept my invitation. Listening to this, Saint asked, Why if I come, will you be able to give me any special gift there? King replied, Guruji, my entire kingdom is yours. Saint said, No, I don't want your kingdom. Give me something that is yours. King replied, Guruji, I am king and this kingdom is mine. Saint said, King, your ancestors must also have claimed the kingdom as their own. Where are they? Did the kingdom belong to them? In your past life, you may have claimed many things to be your own. Do you still own those things? This is just your illusion. Give me an offering that is really yours. Now, King wondered what should be offered to saint besides money. After thinking for a while, King said, Guruji, I offer my body to you. Saint replied, This body of yours will one day become a heap of dust. One day you will abandon it and be free from worldly bonds. So how can it be yours? Give an offering that is really yours. Now again, after thinking for a while, King said, My kingdom is not mine. My body is not mine. Then accept my mind as an offering. Saint replied, Your mind constantly distracts you. You are slave to your mind. You cannot say it's yours. Give me an offering that is really yours. Now king was confused. When my kingdom, my body, my mind is not mine, then do I have anything left to give you? Saint smiled and said, Rajan, you give me your, I and mine. By saying this, Saint indicated to King to give up his ego. King fell into deep contemplation and said, Master, I surrender everything to you. Now I have nothing. How should I rule now? Guide me. Saint replied, You have always ruled with mentality of my kingdom. My palace, my family, my treasure, my subjects. Now you have left mine. You are now no longer held prisoners of illusion of this world. Now be an instrument of God's will and bear your responsibility by surrendering to God. At that instant realization happened and King understood that arrogance and attachment were holding his soul down. King thanked Saint and left to serve his kingdom and people. Thank you.